Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blow Daz. Office Blow, how you doing? And I'm Gaynor. Okay, here we are, a bit of modern family bloopers. Mm. If Patreon's for you, we do have a Patreon channel where we do full watch-alongs of Modern Family. We do. Mm. Uh, it's two a week. Two a week, uh, yeah. Starts at just three dollars. Mm -hmm. Price uh, which of a cup is, of coffee. Uh, it's absolute great value. There's loads yeah. of other stuff on there as well. We do Modern Family full watch-alongs. Full watch-alongs also at Seinfeld. Um, always sunny. always sunny in Philadelphia. We do Effie's for Family. We do. Uh, welcome to Wrexham. Yep. Yeah. And there's something else I'm missing. Well, we put block content on there. We put block content like on there. Yeah, Sometimes it doesn't let yeah. us put on the YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So there's loads of stuff on. It does help support the channel. It helps us grow, yeah. do different things. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, let's have a look at this. Top 10 Modern Family bloopers that broke the whole Do you know cast. what? I need to see. This is funny, though. If, we need, if we're breaking the cat, like, we need to see like someone out of character, like Cam out of character or something yeah. like that. I don't, I'm not sure that guy ever goes out of character. He's such a good actor. He yeah. play a gay guy. He's I think, brilliant. Yeah, but just imagine if you just like started talking like in, in like... Normal, I'm not yeah, saying yeah, normal, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, his yeah. normal voice, yeah. yeah, let's go for it anyway. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 Welcome to Ms Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the best modern family outtakes where any cast members couldn't hold it together. No, she was loco like Paul Loco Loco Loco. <laughs> Number 10, The Haircut. In the season two episode, Regrets Only, Gloria gives Phil a haircut while they're trying to figure out what his fight with Claire from the night before was all about. Wait a minute. Not even crazy woman go crazy for no reason. What happened before the broccoli? That's just it, it came out of the blue. I walked in the door, we we're having a conversation about nothing. The final scene has plenty of lull moments for the audience, but during the filming of the scene, there was plenty to laugh about for both Ty Burrell and Sofia Vergara. You do everything wrong. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. We don't forget. We wait. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Take after take, either Sophia or Ty would break for one reason or another. Although according to Sophia, one of the reasons she kept laughing was, jokingly, because of Ty's stupid face. My stupid face. <laughs> Number 9. Mnemonic Device for the record, what Phil is talking about in the season two premiere when discussing how he remembers people's names is called a mnemonic device. Uh, the other day I met this guy named Carl. Now I might forget that name, but he was wearing a Grateful Dead t-shirt. What's a band like the Grateful Dead? Fish, where do fish live? The ocean, what else lives in the ocean? Coral. Hello, Carl. <laughs> it's not, as he refers to it, a mnemonic device. And if you thought his mispronunciation was funny, you aren't alone. Because it cracked up Ty Burrell and Julie Bowen for multiple it. takes as they kept trying to get through it without breaking. That's why I like to employ what they call a mnemonic device. <laughs> mnemonic? <laughs> mnemonic? Hang on. One time, it was even someone behind the camera who cracked up first, thus sending Burrell and Bowen to Laugh Town once again. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, Dunn Fee. Have you ever had to take someone syllable by syllable through the pronunciation of your last name? It's Dunn Fee. That's what I said, Dunn Fee. No, not dumb. Dunn Fee. Dunn Fee. Say Dunn. Dunn. Say Fee. Fee. Dun fee. Dun fee. Did it end in the two of you cracking up? So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> us neither. But for Ty Burrell and Ed O'Neill, it sure did. And really, can you blame them? Wasn't it? I thought that was a funny part. Yeah. Dun. Say fee. <laughs> because the way Burrell exaggerates the pronunciation of the dun and then the fee, we know we sure wouldn't have been able to hold it together. In the first take, it's O'Neill that cracks up. And in the second, Burrell also joins in. Say dun. Dun. Say fee. Fee. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, someone tooted. Most of us don't want to admit it, but the truth is that no matter how old we get, farts are almost always funny. Great. <laughs> they make us laugh in movies, and the humour in them is proven yet again in this Modern Family outtake. Um, are you sure about that outfit? Why does this keep happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you tooted. 
In this scene, the child actor playing Joe Pritchett lets out a little toot, and none of the three older actors in the scene can hold it together. Although we will point out that the kid himself doesn't break at all. <laughs> Even funnier is the fact that one of them thought it was Adam Devine who tooted, <laughs> and not the little kid. I thought it was you. <laughs> Number six, Topless with Matthew Broderick. The season four episode with Matthew Broderick features some of the show's classic character misunderstandings as Phil invites Broderick's Dave over to watch a football game. You know, we have a big game today. Do you want to watch it together? Oh, uh, well... Shoot, I'm, I'm late for a showing. No pressure at all, but if you feel like it, we could watch it at my place. I could text you the address. All right, well, thanks. It was great meeting you, Phil. Dave, however, thinks it's a romantic invitation and hysterically misunderstandings and wordplay ensue. Use, as does the semi undressing of both men and multiple outtakes as Burrell tries to get out his lines without breaking. All Broderick has to do is stand there, but keeping a straight face gets harder and harder <laughs> with each broken take. You can even hear the crew behind the camera laughing it up. How about we? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Number five, Little Aubrey's first day on set. Actress Aubrey Anderson Emmons took over the role of Mitchell and Cameron's adopted daughter Lily in season three. Lily, come here, honey. Hi. Do you know what this is? A box. Uh, containing. She doesn't know containing. Well, that's how she learns new words, by us <laughs> using them. She was only four years old at the time, but apparently she was already a fan of the series and was aware of the show's characters before she even showed up to work. You had fun? Yes. She's the cutest dog in the whole world. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Let's go find your daddies. Her first day on the set, Aubrey cracked up the cast and the crew when she came into scene, looked at Jesse Tyler Ferguson and Eric Stone Street and told them that she'd seen them on Modern Family. Come on, <laughs> how adorable is that? We saw you guys on Modern Family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Number four, After Mints. Talk to most men, and we're pretty sure they'd agree that prostate exams aren't usually the most humorous situations. Maybe we'll just run a couple of tests just to be safe. What kind of tests? If there's anything wrong, I'll give you a call. However, on sitcoms, every situation has the potential to lead to laughter. And Phil Dunphy's bend over moment with his doctor in season three was no exception. So how's the real estate market doing? Well. Interest rates are low, so it's a great time to be a buyer, but if you're a seller, you really have to... Bend over? True, but a quality property is still lower. <laughs> I need you to bend over. But as funny as his line about dimming the lights and playing some Nora Jones is, the doctor's line in the outtake about the mints was even funnier. What is that? It's my finger. No, 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 the stuff in the jar. Oh, mints. For after. <laughs> We don't know why the line didn't make it into the show. Uh, uh. Maybe they just couldn't get a take without everyone cracking up. <laughs> Number three, three different hair dryers. With this outtake, it isn't so much Jesse Tyler Ferguson's inability to get the line out properly that breaks everyone. It's Eric Stone Street's witty retort when Ferguson just can't get it. Maybe we're pioneers. Uh, we're not pioneers. We have three hair dryers for three different types of... I'm sorry, what is it? Granted, the line he is having trouble with is a bit of a tongue twister, but Stone Street's friendly jab at him is pretty great. Been there. I mean, with much harder lines, but I've been there. Shut up. <laughs> and it's evidence of just how close they all are that they can take little verbal jabs at each other like that. Ferguson even follows it up with a funny, self-deprecating line about how this is why he wasn't nominated for an Emmy Award. So why I didn't get nominated? <laughs> it's really clear. I mean, I can only blame myself <laughs> at this point. Number two, Book of Bell. I was saying it on the, um, on the Patreon channel the other day, we were talking about these, where they don't have, you have to let us know who the main character is. There's no main character. No, they? they're all geniuses. It's just every one of them is really good. Yeah. And it's, it's the, the, every one of them comes across to me as a main character. Yeah. It's actually one of my favourite shows to watch on it's TV. Fine. I don't know what it is. I think Alex 
is probably like the least popular character in the show that out of yeah. everyone that's in a the family there. Mm. Yeah, she's a bit annoying, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, but she's they all just play, kind of a bit yeah. like. But they all play the it's part. The middle child, isn't it? That's yeah. what that's exactly. <laughs> but that's it's. Uh, but they all play the part in what they need to do, and yeah. every single character's funny. Mm. There's none of them that's not funny. Yeah, I guess we'll, we're only on what season two. Yeah. So as it goes on, we'll probably see more of her. Mm. It's good though. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Taco Bell might not be an inherently funny name, but say it over and over again, and some folks might just crack up. Oh, is this that meeting with the DJ with the funny name? Booker Bell. Booker Bell. Booker Bell. Everybody now. Booker Bell was only the greatest DJ in the history of drive time radio. At least that's what happened to Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Ed O'Neill is working hard to get his line out properly, but after he messes up the first try, Ferguson can't hold it together long enough to let him get it right. Oh, Sorry. Yes. Booker Bell was Booker Bell was only the greatest DJ in the history of drive time radio. Booker oh, Bell. Now. Sorry. You jerk off. So <laughs> O'Neill just keeps going, throwing the line at him again and again. But at this point, Ferguson is too far gone and has to beg O'Neill to stop saying the name and cracking up the rest of the cast in this scene along with him. Just stop saying Booker, <laughs> Just stop saying Booker Bell for a second. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, knickknacks. From doggy dog world to baby cheeses, Modern Family fans have gotten plenty of laughs throughout the series from various Gloria mispronunciations. What the hell is this? I told you, Jay. I called your secretary and told her to order you a box of baby cheeses. <laughs> oh, so now that is my fault too. And so have the cast and crew, including Sofia Vergara herself. There are many mispronunciation outtake examples throughout the run of the show, but the best one has got to be the one with the knickknacks. Vergara walks into the scene asking where to put a box of knickknacks. Where should I put this box of knickknacks? Wow, you're, you're donating some knickknacks? And at first, it looks like they're going to get through the scene no problem. But when Bowen turns around towards her, she loses it. In the next take, Vergara goes even harder on the mispronunciation, and Bowen is down for the count. Where should I put this book of Nika's knackers? <laughs> Which Modern Family blooper has you breaking every single time you see it? Let us know in the comments. Sorry, I forgot to say my line. <laughs> I was waiting on you. Do you agree with our... Yeah. It's just a great show. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, what, how, many, how many seasons was, do we say? Is it 11, like 11, 11 or something like that? Yeah, we were it's, all, yeah it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It's, 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 one of them, it's one of them comedy sitcoms when you're watching it. It's, like I say, apart from the characters, but every character plays. But it's, it's one of them where I don't think there's anything very similar to it. The only one I can think of that was come close to it was like an Everybody Loves Raymond yeah. type sort of, uh, yeah. what's it, where everyone had their own part in that sort of, you know. Be, be when that. I watch it though, I want to watch the next one and then the yeah. next one. I yeah. don't want to do just like two a week. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. I know but it is, uh, it is funny. Yeah, yeah. Great show. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye. Cheers.